Welcome aboard everybody, Ringdogs85 here, and we are back with some Crafting Dead. This will be the first official episode, and for this episode, we're going to take a look at Hard Rock Zombies. <laughs> now, a friend at work, I'll go ahead and get started. A friend at work helped me pick this one, and she didn't really know it. I sent her an email and said, hey, can you pick a number between 1 and 67 for me? I had my list of movies with me. Ooh, get in here. And uh, I said, I need help with something. Can you use pick a number between 1 and 67 for me, please? And she fly back with 24. And 24 happened to land on ooh, Crowbar. No, it didn't land on Crowbar. Happened to land on Hard Rock Zombies. So this will be the first one, which was, was kind of entertaining because this one was one of those really, really bizarre ones. It was a uh, came out in 1985 and a little bit of a synopsis I don't want to read <laughs> too much on this because some of it just gives it away if you want to see it you'll have to watch it for yourselves but this is a hard rock band travels to a tiny remote town of Grand Guignol if that's how they say that it's G-U-I-G-N-O-L I don't know where that name came from to perform I, don't, I won't kind of skip this sentence. If you just go to IMDb, I'll have some of these links in the description. Oh, description down below. So, uh, yeah, I, I, you'll have to read the rest of it for yourselves because it's just kind of silly and ridiculous where this movie goes. But some the hardcore zombie fans will definitely appreciate it. I'm over here on the laptop getting some st stuff here also I uh, love some of the, the taglines for this movie let's see one of them was their farewell concert is to die for and can't keep a good band down <laughs> and the poster that I'm uh, going to put up for it what was, what was it that I like the, the the one on the poster was they came from the grave to rock and rave and misbehave so <laughs> yeah so this uh, hard rock hard rock band uh, Hard Rock is definitely in quotes here, but this band goes to this town to perform a concert for a, oops, they see me, I better run, to perform a concert for a um, executive, a, a music ex executive to try to get a deal going, and apparently the town doesn't want them there, and they deal with the town, are eventually killed by some sh oh mercy oh mercy I'm gonna be dead here in just a second I'm not bleeding luckily but I need to get somewhere where I can get healed up <laughs> I'm gonna die here in just a moment run please yep so they are eventually killed by this crazy family there we go Whew. and then are brought back to life a little bit later on and come and exact their revenge so they are the zombies in Hard Rock Zombies, which uh, was the the movie was originally meant to, it was directed by a gentleman by the name of oops I had it there and I had to go off. His name was Krishna Shah, I believe. He's uh he was from India. Actually, I found out that he just passed away due to complications from a stroke just this past October, I believe. So. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I was kind of sad to hear. He didn't really do a whole lot of movies. This was one of them. I, I, they said he was a big supporter of... Huh, where'd the sugar cane come from? So he was a big supporter of uh, films in uh, Bombay. I guess he'd gone back home after a certain time and, and was uh, doing a lot of support for films in, back in his home. But... But yeah, this was one of his couple of films that he did. This actually, this film. I'm gonna get rid of him. This film was meant to be. Oh, come on, guys. Just it started out as a sh shorter film, like 20-minute film. And what it was going to be was a film shown during another movie that he was making called. American Drive-In. So this was actually going to be the movie that was playing at the drive-in while this movie 
American drive-in was going on, but during the making of it, they thought, hey, this is this is going to be a good movie, so let's just keep making it. So they kept making and adding more and more as they went along, and it just got bizarre and <laughs> bizarre as they went along. Some of the things... Was there any ammo in that gun? I wasn't paying any attention. Ooh, we have some ammo in that one. All right. Ooh, a samurai sword. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't paying a baseball bat. Awesome. Yeah, it's some good good weapons here. Now I just need to find some source of drink before too long. All right. I want to club them or melee them more than anything. So yeah, so they kept adding more and more. <laughs> one uh, really cool interview that I read with uh, the, one of the stars of it, he was actually the, the main guy, Jesse, in it. He talked about how a lot of it, his name was E.J. Curse is the guy's name. Uh, oh, jerk. Yeah, I need to start getting some wood too because I do, oh, water bottles, excellent. Um. He talked about how a lot of the movie was actually really want to try to go next. I don't know where I was. Run! I may have been over that way. Let's head over this way. Run! Um, he talked about how a lot of the movie was wrote either the night before or that day of filming. So that kind of explains a lot of this movie really. It was just so bizarre, so out there. <laughs> and s some of you are thinking, what in the world does this have to do with it? Where is this coming from? But why? <laughs> Even bigger question is why? Eventually, I want to make my own little establishment somewhere, but I'm just trying to get stocked up on some food first and some supplies. So if some of the a few reviews I read on this, this movie definitely had a love-hate atmosphere about it. They, people either really, really hated it or they really liked it. That's the, the one interview with the with the EJ <laughs> was. It's a oh, from the website. I want to get that real quick. Nope, not that one. That's the ooh, the mancave.com. So this guy does his own movie reviews and, and I think more than maybe just movies but I know he did movie reviews apparently this after he started this site um, I want to get somewhere safe so I can start crafting me some tools after he started this site I guess that oh, stay away that the Hard Rock Zombies was the first film that he <laughs> did a review for, so he absolutely loves this movie. He even said in the interview, it's a transcript from an interview, that this is like one of his favorite movies of all time. So it, it's that it's just kind of funny to hear. I'll get a little one of these bases so we can kind of hang out here for a little bit, make sure we block this off. I don't think they can get any. Need some light there. Walk in some of these places to get the light going. We're going to pick up this loot. Oop, there we go. Bang. We eventually need to build a chest so we can say, oh, pork chop. Was that a pork chop? Yes. Excellent. But, but yeah, but he definitely loved the movie. So it's good to hear both sides. I mean, there was, like I said, there was plenty of people trashing it saying how bad it was and it's one of those I did not this other site was really good too I like the way wait where did those other ones go oh there it is uh, this other site I really liked the way this guy did the interview or the, the review of it he was uh, the world what the world of disgruntled monkey the world of disgruntled monkey that's that's the name of the website and I really liked the this person's review of it. It's, he says, uh, now and then you watch a movie and you, uh, I watch a movie I can't say is good and yet I need to recommend it to people because of the sheer level of insanity uh, are things to behold. <laughs> so sometimes you just have to see it for yourself to 
you might not still understand it, but you just have to see it to experience it. And it, I know these types of movies, zombie movies, horror movies, aren't for everybody. Ooh, another golden apple. Awesome. Aren't for everybody. It's, and then sometimes certain people only like ones that are really good or mainstream ones. Why am I putting that down there? I'm not sure. Let's make a crafting bench. I only want mainstream movies. And then there's those. Who, oh man, I don't have enough to make it. I mean, I have enough to make a chest, but I won't have enough to make any other tools. Let's just go ahead and do the chest for now so I have some things to place down. We'll put you right there. Some of this stuff. Oh, we'll keep that. Save the sea. Let's put ammo. I don't even know what kind of guns I have. I haven't been paying attention to my guns. We'll order. put those in order later. Definitely want to keep that with us. Let's put the morphine away in case we die so we still have it. I need to find some sheep to hopefully eventually make a bed so I can sleep because this is going to be sort of a temporary home. But yeah, this is definitely one of those movies that you almost have to see for yourself <laughs> to, to experience some of it. But th there's there are some scenes and issues that are somewhat some say oh man I went to the place where there's hardly any trees that wasn't very smart of me hmm, I should have gotten more wood but uh, yeah there are definitely some issues with it that are kind of controversial some say get some more seeds nope because I need to I'll need to start probably planting some stuff as well how are we looking out here, guys? Can we get out here? The the one is the this one girl in it named Cassie who becomes kind of like this love affair for the main guy Jesse. Now it, there's never any ages given, but you would think that it looks like Je oh. Jesse is probably in his twenties or so. Now, in the interview, EJ said that around here and get this. Never know if you'll need it later. <laughs> in the interview, EJ said that that the girl that played Cassie and uh, let me get her name just real quick. She only did this movie and an episode of Falcon Crest, which is an old. What was her name? Oh, Jennifer Coe, COE. He's, he was asked uh, by the Man Cave guy, he said, This has been a hot topic for this, m about this movie, but. Oh, is that what kind of gun I have? Oh, no. Glock 21, Glock 18. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. He said, How old was she? Because he said, uh, I'm pretty sure she was 21. He said, I'm pretty sure. I didn't see this in the hiding in here. Oh, another apple. Oh, great. He said, I'm pretty sure she was 21. He didn't say, yeah, yeah she was definitely 21 or, or anything like that. He said, I'm pretty sure she was 21. Because when he first beats her, he beats her backstage at a concert. All right, I need to get rid of a few of you guys. And she really doesn't belong there at the concert. And you were kind of wondering why she's even there. And she looks like she's about 14 or so. Oh, mercy. Let's run over this other one over here. And she looks like she's about 14 or so. So it becomes really bizarre. Ooh, don't hit me. Okay, and I had plenty. So he get this love affair between the two of them just is, is really, really strange. The way it happens and, and why, oh my goodness, this place is wide open, not good. Oh, I don't have enough dirt. Ah, crud. Have to be careful in here. So that's always been, oh, oh no, oh no. Oh no. I have a bandage. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. Excellent. Ooh, I didn't see. Where did he can come in from? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Yeah. Oh, more pork chops. Awesome. I need more dirt. So that's always been a little bit of an issue 
from this movie. There, there's another major issue that a lot of people have problems with. So it's almost one of those you'll have to see it. They could get in through here if they wanted to. Hmm. And here they come and I only have one thing of dirt. Ha. Ah. Phew. And uh, if you go and just look at the review for it, you'll know what it is. But there's just some of those these things that you just don't want to give it away. And it just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever why it's even in the movie. <laughs> but hey, sometimes things happen that you just can't explain. Can I make this jump? 